something I noticed when rewatching the microwave hallway scene, because come on, it's an awesome scene, is when Snake's health drops to one, his psyche starts going down. By all accounts, Snake should be dead. Like, really dead. He's in a freaking microwave hallway. Nobody should have been able to survive that. But, from his sheer stubbornness, or willpower, or something, he keeps going. It's really powerful knowing that something should be killing you, but you keep going because you have a mission to finish. Yeah, it most definitely breaks the laws of possibility, considering no matter how much willpower you have, you likely aren't going to be able to power through something like that. But from a gameplay and story perspective, it's the last, final push through the game. Yes, you have to face Ocelot after fighting your way through and shutting down the Patriot systems, but the last act of movement and control is up to you. It's even more accented by how hard you have to keep mashing triangle to keep going. You have to keep pushing forward. It's a fight to make Snake barely move, and I think that's very much by design. If it's that hard for you to control him, imagine what it must be like for him. Barely able to move, knowing you're at the end of your life in more ways than one, he knows what has to be done, and barely has the strength to do it. His health is so low, you can barely see it. His sheer strength of will is what keeps him going. He was created for one reason, being the best soldier he can be. You know what's the worst part about all of this? He survives. Considering his conversation with Raiden, he very much wants to die. Snake, leave this to me. I'll go to the server room. The corridor's full of microwaves. One of us is enough. My body is a machine. I can take it. Your body may be a machine, but your heart is a human. You've got a life to go back to. She means nothing to me now. Run! Look at me! Have your youth. Don't waste it. You can start over. From here on, this is my fight. I. We tore the world apart. Made your life a living hell. It's my duty. To put an end to all of this. He's hoping he can complete his mission and not survive through it. He himself is turning into the very thing he had sworn to destroy his entire life. And he survives. I know what I have to do, but I don't know if I have the strength to do it. This line from The Force Awakens perfectly encapsulates how Snake feels toward the end. His life hasn't been easy by any means. Bred to be a soldier, fighting his entire life, and even when he wants out, he gets pulled back in again. To top it off, because his government used him for their own ends without even remotely consulting him, the fox die in his body that was used to eliminate their enemies has mutated and will start attacking random innocent people, which, duh. Snake has dedicated his whole life to saving people. To top that off, he was engineered to artificially age, so while being 42, he has the body of an 80 plus year old. Following his fisticuffs with Ocelot, which, may I add, is one of the best scenes in all of gaming, he goes to the graveyard where Big Boss's grave lies and prepares to end his life. Has changed. Our time has ended. 
Our war is over. But there's one more thing I must do. punishment I must endure. Erase my genes. Wipe this meme from the face of the earth. This is my final mission. Snake's tail actually does end on a happy note. It turns out the nanomachines that Drebin implanted in Snake contained a second strain of fox dye to kill off Big Mama, Liquid Ocelot, and Big Boss himself. But that means it overwrote the original strain, giving Snake a new lease on life. He decides from then on he's going to quit smoking and enjoy what little time he has left with Otacon and Sunny, the only real family he's ever had. I love that all of the strife that Snake goes through he at least gets his reprieve in the end. Thank you for watching, and try not to die out there. Snake, wait up! You forgot these. Hmm. No thanks. I'm quitting. Snake! These things will kill you. Where will you go? Our fight is finished. There's nothing left for us to do. No. There's one thing I still have to do. I have to see this age off. See what the future brings. It sounds good to me. I'll go with you. Huh. Otacron. I'm gonna be dead soon. You don't have to come. You said it yourself, Snake. There's nothing inside you can pass on to the next generation. No genes, no memes. You're man-made. You're a beast. I know. A blue rose. There won't be any happy Beauty and the Beast ending for me. What little time I have left will be spent living as a beast. A shadow of the inside. Of the old age. Exactly. That's why you need me. As a witness. A witness? Yeah. Someone on the outside to bear witness to your final days. Someone to pass on your story. Not that I'm the only witness. But I'll remember everything you were and stick with you to the end. Otacon. Besides, you wouldn't let me suffer Sonny's eggs alone, would you? <laughs> <laughs>